What's up guys? So today <laughs> um this is my friend Brie and hey. so she <laughs> is my best friend and so I'm sure you'll see her in a lot of the vlogs in the future. And so today to kind of introduce her, we kind of just wanted to talk about like friendships in high school because in high school friendships can get really catty and ours is definitely not. We, we never, never have drama. We, yeah, we've never fought. We never fight. And nothing like that. I guess this is just jumping right in but one of the most important things about a friendship is that you never, like a close friendship, you would never talk bad about them or if you had anything constructive to say, you would. I would say it right to Sarah or she would come right to me exactly. first. Exactly. I think that that's that something that is really important that you have like at least like one friend I mean if not all your friends but hopefully just like one friend that it's like you will not say bad things to anyone about like if I had something bad to say about Bree yeah I'd just say it to her because we're close enough that you I, should be close enough with all your friends that you can just go and tell them if you have a problem with them you're just straight up because yeah, that w is because what and you I would never want anyone to like I would never want to like talk bad about her to someone in my like you know science class or anything like that and, and then, then they it's come like, up to me and tell me and yeah then it creates a it bigger just, problem than you really need um, to have and yeah if you just go to the person first then it's not like there can be any conflict between you yeah it really know. like we've never like had like a problem or anything like that yeah because like it's how you handle like anything that is going on so right <laughs> okay, and so another really important thing about your friendships and relationships with really everyone that you ever come in contact with anywhere is just to like understand each other and respect your differences and respect just everything Every, about each other. Yeah, sorry. Everyone that you meet comes from a different background, has a different story, has gone through a different life and experience. It's like a really long. Alright, we're good. <laughs> um, everyone that you meet in life just goes through something different and has a different life. So, you know, we met in ninth grade, but some people, if you're lucky enough to meet them in kindergarten or first grade, you've been there with them through everything. But for us, it was most important that when we met in ninth grade, we found out about each other's lives and every struggle, yes, every story that we have, we've told each other. and. It's just so that we can respect each other and be able to care for each other and if I see her going through anything, I want to help her, I don't get annoyed or I don't tell other people like how about, you know, what she goes through. I just am there to help her and make sure that she's okay and like I know um, pretty much just what it takes, like what she needs and what yeah. I can do for her. Yeah, and like... I mean, like, here's kind of like a quirky example. So right now, we are on a college trip. Right now, we're at Auburn, Auburn? University. Shout out. Um, yeah, so we will have a vlog about that soon. Um, if this doesn't come after the vlog. I don't know how it will be posted. But, so we are on a college trip. And so, um, so I am, like, kind of OCD. And I have this thing where I, like, can't focus. <laughs> no, I can't focus. No, I'm saying I can't focus if, like, it's been like a windy day and then I haven't brushed my hair since then and so um, and then I get stressed out and super large crowds are just you know <laughs> anything yeah <laughs> so and so like for an example like before we left she was like I'll make sure that I always have a hairbrush in my purse and hairbrush like, <laughs> tissues chapstick hand sanitizer anything she needs I make sure I have it because you never know she forgets and then <laughs> stresses her out <laughs> yeah and then it makes like just a better day for both of us I mean like really oh, yeah. and then it's like I know like if we're in like a situation where um, we're in like a huge crowd or something like that just to accept like that she might like be quiet for like might a few minutes not talk <laughs> but like and that's fine like once we get out of the crowd like she's we totally go right back. good yeah <laughs> and so I understand that and I get that and so I just showed up to it and <laughs> so it's fine yeah. um understanding the person is just the most important thing because if you don't have a friendship based off of you know trust and being able to know the person then it really is like you have nothing it's just kind of like 
meeting someone on the street and just being able to talk to them but it's not like you really have the foundation there that you can support them and they trust you and there's just you can always be there for each other if you're in a crowd if you need some chapstick <laughs> <laughs> you know yeah and so that is really important okay. so another big thing for us is basically just not being jealous and not having to judge each other because if you build a friendship based off of I want Sarah's shirt or I'm jealous <sighs> because Sarah has a better grade than me in math <laughs> Never, <laughs> I am the worst at math. <laughs> oh laugh. my goodness. Anyways, just judged her and I'm jealous. I'm just kidding. <laughs> so but that's what not to do. <laughs> being able to be proud of each other. Like if Sarah gets a better grade than me, I'm just going to tell her that it's great and I'm not going to be mad or maybe we'll laugh at my score. But like <laughs> if you base a friendship off of wanting what someone else doesn't have or not loving what you have and being happy with yourself then it's not a good relationship yeah in high school that's something that i think like a lot of girls are so like insecure about themselves that they can't just like look at someone else and say what's good about them because they are just trying to like prove themselves and like so, if you break up with someone and someone's like oh it's okay you are more attractive than them than them anyways and you're just like it's not about someone being better than you it's not about you being better than someone else yeah. it's about you being your personal best and for me it's like if Sarah's doing something better than me or if I'm doing something better than Sarah that doesn't affect our friendship because we're friends with each other for who we are as people and not who we are academically or yeah. socially or anything like that it's just about like being happy for each other, being proud of one another, supporting one another, and just making sure that it's like, you know, I would yeah. never be mad at Sarah because she got something that I wanted. If she got yeah, into Auburn like our, and I didn't. Uh, our, our, our friendship isn't a competition, and I feel like, yeah, that's the biggest point. Okay, she just said the <laughs> biggest point. Yeah, so make sure that your friendship if you're aren't If you feel like your friendship is about, okay, this is what I did and you didn't do that, or I I broke my foot, but ooh, you broke your whole leg. No, it's seriously, not about I've that. had, yeah, friends who, and it's like, that's not something that you want to outbeat it's even, like, but yes, like they you have, broke your leg. like it's like everyone's just like trying to like prove that they like have it worse, have it better, have it whatever. Oh my goodness, okay, all right. <laughs> Your life isn't about what you do better than other people or how you compete with your friends. It's, like it's about how you has, care about your friend. Everyone, ha everyone has their own strengths and their own weaknesses. And like, I might not be good at math, but hey, she might not be good at. I'm good at everything. Okay. And just kidding. <laughs> Great. It's like life is about understanding each other. Like we said in the beginning of this video, if. Sarah's not good at math. I know I'm not gonna go to her and be like, I ace my math test. Or I'm or maybe I do. But it's like if she tried. did tell me that, yeah, I would be proud of her. I wouldn't be like, yeah, okay, well. But the I point is <laughs> like you don't have to rub it in. You don't also and bragging or being happy for, it's not even bragging, it's just sharing something with your friend. Like yeah, I never like, feel like my accomplishes are a weakness to her. It's not wait, what's that line that you say? Um, what did I say? And, an accomplishment for me. No, no, no. I said a compliment to me isn't an insult to you. A compliment right. to me isn't an insult <laughs> to Sarah. This is a bad example, and but a, one time. And an insult right, to Sarah. I guess Sarah I tell that story. Isn't a compliment to me. Oh, that, I said that reverse. Wait, no, no, that would make sense. Like yeah, you would, you would be happy if some guy was like, "Oh, sir, she's ugly." Like, yeah, like okay. Here's here is an example. Guys might come to me and be like, "Oh, Sarah's pretty," and I wouldn't be like, "Oh," and you don't think I am? I would just talk to them and be. No. Yeah, that's how we came up with the. That's how when you said that, I was like, "A compliment to me isn't an insult to you." <laughs> Anyways, cut that part out. <laughs> Okay, no, guys will come to me and say Sarah's like the sweetest person, like I wish that I could date her, or like I like Sarah, she's such a great oh, person. Okay. And I <laughs> And I would never be like, nah, Sarah's horrible, Sarah's not nice, Sarah's rude, you shouldn't be into her. I would just be happy for her and see if there was a way that I could like help her out. Like okay. It's just always about understanding each other and supporting each other. Like another thing is that we have never been into partying or drinking or anything like that. And 
the only reason I feel like I've been able to stay true to myself and not go into that or I have other friends that are interested in those kind of activities and it's like I could be that person I could do that if I felt like I needed to fit in but having one friend like Sarah just makes it so that I don't feel pressured like I have to be someone that I'm not because I know that even if it's just one friend one good friend over 20 fake friends you always pick that one person yeah I mean like seriously like if your identity is built up on trying to please other people and you're so never you're gonna doing, please yourself you're no yeah you're never gonna be happy and so you're gonna be happier with just having like one friend rather than 20 yeah 20 yeah. people that you can't be yourself around because it seriously feels like you'll find you're yourself living in a lost. box like I've definitely been there and yeah. I mean I've been there and, too I've had friends where it just feels like you you can't be yourself or if you are being yourself you're being judged or you're in yeah. a room of people and they're watching you like you're crazy but we're being crazy together and it's just like okay yeah. that's <laughs> it's like, whatever. Yeah. it's just like she has a laugh attack and then I start laughing and everyone stares at us but it's like okay because we're comfortable with ourselves yeah we're and like we're having each fun other. so we don't really care yeah. what anyone else is thinking um but yeah and like I've definitely like been there when when I like try to be friends with um, people that don't have things in common with me, it kind of like made me really shy because it's like I would just like it takes your voice because you're taking away part of yourself. Yeah, because like literally, it's like you can't relate to the conversation unless you like unless try you to lie. be yeah, unless you try to be someone that you're not, and that's really not fun. And so, um, so yeah, it really did like make me really shy for a while. Um, basically our friendship has also come a long way just like getting to know each other especially on this trip but just being able to spend time yeah. together and know that we have different pasts but that we can relate to each other that we can support each other and be there for each other really yeah. makes a difference and I honestly think like if we were like going in like uh, police <laughs> <laughs> um, if we were like striving to like do the same things and like be the same like you know have the same career if we like play the same sports whatever then it might like feel like we were always competing with yeah. each other and that might not really be like a great friendship like because Sarah dances hard. or I write or like there are things that I like to do that she doesn't but anytime yeah. she wants to tell me about it like I'm always open to listen yeah so everything that we've told you basically works for any relationship that you have. If you have a boyfriend, a classmate, just parents, family, anyone like that, you always want to make sure that you can trust the person, you understand the person, and that you can be 100% yourself with them. Because if you can't be yourself, if they can't be yourself, you can't have an effective relationship. Very true. <laughs> okay, well, thanks so much for watching. And we'll have and vlogs up soon about Auburn, maybe other trips that we do. Yeah, and I'm sure, like, you'll see Brie, like, all the time, um, which is our every day and, and stuff like that. And let us know if there's so. anything else that you want us to yeah, talk about. Yeah. We're here, not in Auburn, but we'll be free. <laughs> Any questions yeah. that you have. Yeah, so we will definitely make another video. And we video. will end this video in the only cringy way that friends can with a big hug. <laughs> oh, I thought we were going to say War Eagle. <laughs> no. <laughs> Go War Eagle. Go. <laughs> yeah, we're at Auburn University, by the way, sneak peek. So.